Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. For today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this super cute little Mother's Day card. Now, I absolutely love this card. Um, I saw somebody do a wreath on, I think it was on Pinterest. I actually saw it a few different places, I think. Um, and I just thought it was a great idea. So I kind of took that and ran with it and made my own little Mother's Day card. Um, so Mother's Day is gonna be coming up soon, so I figure why not? I'm also using some retiring products, which I'm so upset about. Um, so here we are. Hopefully you guys can get your hands on these if you are interested. So to get started, let's go ahead and go over all of the stuff that we're going to need. We are going to be using the Oh So Succulent stamp set, and this is a retiring. I am so sad. This is one of my favorite stamp sets of all times, and it's retiring. So I'm pretty upset about it. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little sad. I really hoped that this one would be um, carrying over to the new catalog, but it's not, unfortunately. So. We will just see this one go, as well as the coordinating framelits that go along with them. So we're gonna use both of these, but again, these are retiring. Um, as of the time that I'm making this video, these are still available. Uh, I don't know, it's all while supplies last. So if you're interested in getting any retiring product, make sure you head over to littlemooncreation.stampinup.net, um, click on shop now and go and get all of your retiring product as soon as possible because it's not gonna be around for much longer. Like I said, it's all while supplies last. So get it as soon as you can. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be using both of those. We're also going to be using the uh, Swirly Scribbles Thinlets, which this is the um, Thinlet set that coordinated with uh, Swirly Bird. So both of these are staying. And we're only gonna be using one of these dies. Also going to be using our polka dot um, embossing folder, which is also retiring. Again, another one that I'm super sad about. I'm so, like, I just, I just can't handle it. <laughs> so um, this, we'll be using this embossing folder. For inks, we're keeping it pretty simple today. We're using Perfect Plum, Melon Mambo, and Mint Macaron. Again, Mint Macaron, I'm just going on about all these retiring products. It's the only thing I can think about. I'm trying to figure out what I need before it's gone and all of that jazz. So Mint Macaron is one of our ink colors that is going to be retiring this year. All of the 2015, 2017 ink colors will be retiring um, at the end of May. So make sure you get your hands on all of these goodies uh, while supplies last again. And I'm also going to be using, what is this called? This is our Very Vanilla Satin Ribbon. I'm pretty sure this is retiring as well. Um, I don't have my list right next to me. Uh, I'm fairly confident this is retiring. I'm, I'm pretty sure. If not, I'll put a little note in the video, but I'm pretty confident that this is also retiring. And then we have our paper. Um, we're gonna be using a piece of garden green. Now this we are just using for the wreath. Sorry, I'm trying to think about what, I'm trying to think about what I'm saying next and I just, yeah, it's just been one of those days. Um, so we're using, we're only using this for the wreath. So you don't need a huge piece. I just grabbed a scrap out of my little folder. We are going to be using two pieces of Whisper White. So I have this piece here, which is cut at uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And then you just need a scrap to do our um, flowers, to stamp our flowers and then we're gonna cut them out, but we're gonna stamp those on Whisper White. And then our card base is going to be a piece of Wisteria Wonder. Again, our card base is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And then I have a little tiny sliver of Wisteria Wonder. This is cut at a half an inch by two and a half inches, and this is going to be our little banner. Um, on the sample, I did use Mint Macaron for the little banner. I just think that Wisteria Wonder is gonna look a little bit better. Uh, I think I'm going to like it better, so um, I'm gonna be using that for today's card, but again, you can change this up and do it however you want. You can use whatever colors you would like. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start, I wanna go ahead and do all of my stamping, so going to need quite a few blocks for this. Um, I think two, four, I need six blocks if I can find them. And then I need a block for our sentiment. So I did not per really prepare any for this video like I normally do. I normally have everything all set out and stamps are on blocks and everything is just ready to go. But 
you know, things have just been a little crazy lately. As I'm sure you guys have seen, I haven't been as consistent with uploading videos. I'm trying to get on a good schedule again. Um, but it's just been so crazy. I, I've been crazy. I do still have a full-time job. Um, I hope to make Stampin' Up! my full-time job one day, but for right now, it's not. <laughs> so I still have a full-time job, and it's just been super crazy. We got a lot going on, and then I come home, and I got a lot going on at home. So it's just been crazy, but I'm going to try and get to a better schedule and get everything back on track. Um, so, yeah, I'm... I'm trying guys, I promise. I didn't just leave you guys. I am super excited because the new catalog is going to be coming out soon, but um, I just, like I was saying earlier, there's so many products that are retiring that I just cannot believe they're retiring. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do without some of these products. So I'm a little sad, but uh, I mean, we'll survive. There's lots of new stuff coming out, but um, if seriously, if there's anything on the retiring list, the retiring list will be linked on in the coordinating blog post, which is the first link down below. If there's anything that you want to get, make sure you go and get it now because I promise you it's not going to last very long. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and start off by doing our flowers. So I mounted, we're going to be using, this is like the medium size flower as well as this little tiny one. So we're going to be using the outline as well as the uh, full image and actually... Let me, told you guys I was not prepared for this video. Let me grab my little stamping mat here. It's upside down, but we will survive. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this because we're gonna do some stamping off. So I'm gonna start by using my Perfect Plum and I'm going to take my uh, bigger image or my full image, I should say, the inside bits, if you will, and I'm gonna ink that up. I'm gonna stamp it off on my scratch piece of paper and then I'm just going to stamp it onto my piece of Whisper White. And then I'm gonna take my outline image and I'm going to get that inked up and I'm not going to stamp this off and I'm going to now find where these line up. I do really have to look at this one. I always make myself laugh. And I got quiet because I was concentrating. <laughs> and then I'm gonna stamp the outside image. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for um, the little flower. So here we have the little flower. I'm gonna do the exact same process for this. And then I'm going to do two flowers the exact same way in Melon Mambo. So I did go ahead, I'm gonna actually move this out of the way. You don't really need it anymore. I did go ahead and do um, my little more of like suckle, suckle, <laughs> succulent um, looking pieces. So uh, it's just this one. Again, there's a full image and then the outline image. And I did that in Knit Macaron. I used the exact same process and I did two of those. So those are both exactly the same. I am now going to take our little tiny sliver of Wisteria Wonder and I'm going to use, um, yeah, let's use Knit Macaron, or my Knit Macaron, uh, Melon Mambo. <laughs> and I'm going to take our sentiment here that says Happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to stamp this as close to in the middle of this little sliver as possible. Just like so. Move that out of the way. And while I have this sitting here, I'm gonna go ahead and create our little banner. So I'm just gonna take some scissors, and if you've never done this before, it's super easy. So to create the little banner, all you're going to do is on this flat edge right here, you're gonna cut up right into the middle until you almost reach the greeting. And then, whoops, so you have that line there, and then you're just gonna go from this corner out here. Here, let me see. You're gonna go from this corner out here to where you just cut up to. So, line that up so I'm just gonna snip right there just like that and then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and that gives you a little banner shape so I'm gonna do that on both sides super simple we do have our banner punch but um that is actually a punch that I don't own and it's because I don't really do many banners this way uh, speaking of banners 
The Banners Framelits, I can't remember. I think it, they're just called Banners Framelits, are retiring too. I know I'm on this like retiring kick, but there are just so many things that I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna live my life without these products? Um, those are retiring. Um, and I'm so sad about it because that was one of, it's kind of sentimental to me because that was one of the very first thinlets or maybe they're framelits. I can never remember the difference between the two and now I'm just rambling, but I feel like I've started so I need to finish. Um, those were one of the first dyes that I got when I got my Big Shot, which I had just started out being a demonstrator with Stampin' Up and I was, didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to like fumble my way through it and those were one of the first dyes that I got. So to like, have them retire is like sentimental and sad for me but anyways moving on back on track um so i'm going to set this off to the side we get a little more organized over here behind the scenes where you guys can't see good thing you can't see because it's a little crazy okay i think we now should move into do our big shot stuff and get all of that out of the way so let me bring my big shot over Yes, did you like my accent there? I'm so fancy. <laughs> so let's start off by doing all of our die cutting. So I'm gonna grab our uh, swirly scribbles. And you have this big circular scribbly die. So we're gonna be using that. And for that, we need our piece of garden green. So I'm actually gonna load up my plate here as much as possible. So we have that. I'm also then going to grab our stamped uh, images that we just did and grab the succulent, what is this? Succulent framelits. I'm so sad to see this one go. And I'm kind of, I mean, I'm shocked, but at the same time, I'm not super shocked. I just thought that the, it was a great set and I really wanted to keep it around. And maybe that's why, because a lot of people have already bought it. I don't really know how we decide which products to retire. I had somebody ask me that um, a couple days ago. I really have no idea. I, I don't personally have any insight and I don't, uh, I don't get consulted on that. I'm just little old Lindsay, so. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I'm so sad to see these go. These are one of my favorites. So <sighs> we'll just have to live without, I guess. Anyways, um, I'm gonna grab all of the dies and I'm just going to line them up. This one, okay, for whatever reason, I always have the hardest time lining this one up and I can, I can just never get it perfectly in place. So I'm going to cut out, I'm gonna have to run this through twice which is fine, but I'm gonna cut out both sets of flowers and then I'm going to cut out both of our little uh, succulent images here. Okay, so now I have all six, or sorry, seven of our pieces cut out. So I'm going to move these off to the side Oh shoot, I forgot to, forgot we're going to take our piece, our uh, little piece here of Whisper White and we're gonna run it through the, the uh, Big Shot again for, um, in the embossing folder to emboss this. So I'm gonna do this off to the side cause it's a little bit of a hassle, well not a hassle, but it's a little technical for me to uh, move my Big Shot over right this second cause I already moved it back. So you can just listen to me uh, crank this through, la di da di da Yep, cranking it through. You can probably see my desk shaking around a little bit. I did bring back the uh, this background paper. For, I'm gonna try and film on this again because I've been having some issues with the lighting. I don't know, I have a big picture window right uh, behind where my camera is and it's just because of the way this room is set up and where my desk is. Um, so I don't know if that's why. I thought it might be the dark background uh, or my dark desk now. So I'm using this background paper. Hopefully this helps crossing my fingers. It looked like it was really good when I was uh, testing it a little bit ago. So hopefully it stayed good and consistent through this video. If not, I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do. So anyways, that was my little spiel very quickly. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this and set this off to the side. 
I am going to grab our ribbon here and I'm gonna make my little bow. So you don't have to put the bow on here. I just thought it was a cute little accent. Um, it makes it, for me, it makes it look a little bit more like a wreath because you have the little um, bow that it's hanging from. So I liked it, but again, you don't have to do it. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to chop off the end. So I just created that quick little bow. Sorry, my phone's going off. And I don't know why. Um, put that on silent. Uh, okay, so I have my little bow here. And then I still need this. I'm going to just cut a piece off. Oops. And we're going to make our little loop. So for this, I'm going to use a glue dot and my liquid glue. And actually for this whole process, I'm going to kind of do that. So I'm gonna just kind of take this and start looping it, figuring out how big I want my loop and uh, kind of adjusting from there. I don't want it too big. That's probably good. So I'm gonna take one piece of my ribbon and I'm going to put a glue dot on it, just like so. And then I'm gonna create my little loop, just like that. And that's just gonna hold everything in place. Now I'm gonna flip my bow over and I'm gonna put some liquid glue on my bow right here. And I'm also gonna put some of this glue on the loop just so that I have lots of areas where these two are meeting. Hopefully this doesn't stick to my desk right now because that would be great. Oops, nope, I'm gonna need to squish them together just a second longer. It shouldn't stick. I just, I put them down and then I thought, oh wow, there's glue right there. It may squirt out the sides. So if it does, you know what? That's okay, we can deal with it. No big deal. So I'm just gonna keep holding these two together till they melt. Whoops. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's not working. Maybe I used a glue dot. I can't remember. How do I not remember? Oh boy. So I think maybe I did use a glue dot, and now I don't know why this glue dot's not sticking. Oh man, and I have a little dog that's about to go crazy because our neighbors are out there. Hmm. Interesting. My glue dot's not sticking to my ribbon now. I might have to do this over. I think I messed it up. That's okay, free do. Okay, see, I messed it up the first time, but we got through it, it's all good, okay. So we have our bow now. I'm gonna set that off to the side, but not too far, because I'm gonna start, go ahead and uh, building our wreath now. I do want a scratch piece of paper. Just gonna rip this off and we will, we shall use this again. Okay. So I want this little straggly bit, that's what I call it, up at the top. So I'm gonna leave that right there. Um, and I'm gonna build my little scene over here to the side. Um, I kind of already know how I want it just because I played around before, but just play around with it and see what you like, see what you don't like. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, it's really whatever looks and works best for you. So I just kind of start layering things and thinking about how I'm going to adhere them down, where the layers are going to be, what looks the best. And that's, I really like this little clumping, this little grouping. I think I might actually push this one down just a smidgen like that. I really like how that looks. So um, I'm gonna peel those off. My bottom, my lowest layer is going to be uh, these little succulent guys here. So I'm gonna just take my uh, fine tip glue pen and put some glue on the back. The reason that I like to use the fine tip glue 
and especially have a piece of scratch paper is because that way you can get into all these little tiny cracks because it's not a full solid piece. It's easy to uh, adhere these down if you just put some liquid glue on the back. And uh, once you stick it down, you just wanna make sure you move it a little bit so it doesn't stick to your background piece of paper. Hopefully that made sense. And then I'm just going to continue to do the same thing. Um, I'm just gonna put down some liquid glue and then start adhering these uh, wherever I feel like I want to go ahead and put them. So this one, I want it right about there. And again, make sure you're moving it so that it doesn't get stuck to your background paper. This one, we'll put right there. And then we got this little guy. And you don't want to stack them too much on top of each other because then it's just going to look like one blob and you're not really going to see the individual flowers, which is what we want. So just be mindful. I mean, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. These are just kind of my tips. And really, I, it's, my, it's your preference on how you want to do it. This is how I prefer to do it because I like to see all of the different flowers and the different layers. Like that's you know, that's what I really enjoy about doing a project like this. But if you don't like that, if that's not what you want, that's not what you want to convey, then don't do it that way. Totally up to you. So I'm going to put some liquid glue on the back of my ribbon, and then I'm just going to stick it here and pray that it adheres to the piece of paper. If not, we shall use alternative methods. Okay, there is our sweet little wreath. Ah, oh, so flippin' adorable. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move our background piece out of the way just so that we can finish adhering our card together. So I'm gonna put my wreath right about here. I like the little, I like the fact of having the, li the loop um, above the rest of the card. I just think it brings out that whole look a little bit more. So I'm going to, again, use my liquid glue and just over where all the flowers are, I'm just kind of being willy-nilly with it and then um, where I have like the ribbon and uh, then on the rest of the little outside edge pieces, I'm going to just put down some glue. Ta-da! Flip this over and again, be careful with when you're holding it and messing with it just because you do have some a little bit of wet glue still. And I'm just going to put this down and then take my hand and help stick it. Just like so. So singing cute. Ah, I love it. Now I'm going to take, actually I'm going to take my cap and put it back on my fine tip glue pen so it doesn't get sealed shut because that does happen. I need some dimensionals and um, you guys have heard me talk about this before. I like to use the edge for projects like this where it's just a really thin little piece. Um, that way you're, I'm not wasting that, set, that uh, section on my dimensionals and um, it helps keep little thin banners like this from sagging in the middle. So Super helpful, I love it. I'm going to just stick our little banner down just like that, flip it over. I need to find my, well, we'll use fast fuse because it's right here. Oh, maybe not, I think I'm running out of, am I running out of fast fuse? I don't know, but we'll go for it and see what happens. Now nah, we should be good. I like using fast fuse on embossed pieces just because they're embossed. So you never know. Most of the time, like this embossing folder is really nice because it usually doesn't cause any issues. Um, but there are other embossing folders where you just get, they just start to peel up and you get crazy things. Um, I, I just really like to use fast fuse in those scenarios. And I've actually started liking using fast fuse more often uh, just because I always know for sure that it's going to stick. 
which is a good feeling, especially when you're doing like swaps or giving cards to family members that like to keep them and stuff. Um, it's nice when you know that your card's gonna stay together. So that is our super duper stinking cute card for today, guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, I know there's a lot of steps to this one and there's um, a lot of die cuts. Hi guys, I just realized that my camera stopped recording before I had finished the video. So um, I'm not, I know where it stopped, but I can't really remember exactly what I said. Um, I just wanted to end the video really fast so I didn't just leave it hanging and let you guys know. Again, if you're interested in getting any, any of the retired product, make sure you go and place your order sooner rather than later because um, stamp sets will be available through, I think the middle of May, um, but most things won't be available for very long. There's already stuff sold out. Um, ink pads, if you want the 2015, 2017 ink pads, make sure you stock up on those. Uh, side note, I am just holding the camera so it fits a little shaky, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy today's project. I love it. It's super simple. It may look difficult, but it's really not. Once you kind of get in there and just start cranking through, it's so easy to do, I promise. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. Again, you can always get all of your product um, by going to littlemooncreation.stampinup.net, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.